I think a lot of the times your mind will play tricks on you into thinking, thinking you're more tired than you are. You know what I mean? Like I, my, our head coach even banned us from saying we're tired. I just implemented it straight away. I started to notice how many times throughout the day I used to tell myself that I was tired, like five to 10 times. So imagine you're telling yourself that every day, five to 10 times, your body's gonna start to catch up with your mind, right? Boom. Hi, my name's Liam Patel. I'm here with Don't Dart Making Moves. And we're just shooting a little video into the insight of the life of a Muay Thai fighter. And uh, just insight into my life, really, and uh, how I came into Muay Thai. This is like my last training session today the end of fight camp uh, let's go success leaves clues I and mean, when you look at all the top fighters they train a lot they have quality training quality sparring they have coaches who believe in them and want to see them succeed I think learning from your mistake and not just doing something for the sake of doing something you know what I mean and maybe that kind of comes under like your quality of training but I think you can do say for example you can do 10 rounds of pads or, or 10 rounds of sparring but if are you just sparring for the sake of sparring or hitting pads for the sake of hitting pads or are you actually working on stuff? So go right now I'm the um, UK number three. Obviously the goal, short, I say short term goal, but it's a big goal, but short term goal is to get to UK number one, uh, win a world title, probably my side Grand Prix world title. It's a pretty credible, reputable world title to have. Against a good opponent, obviously, world level opponent. And then um, after that, Fight in Thailand, fight on like Rajadamnin World Series, or maybe even one championship. We'll see, we'll see what, uh, see what offers come along the way. Where, where do you think you need to develop from where you are now to get to where you, you need to? What is your? So, I'd say development-wise, my head coach is really good at instilling a kind of mindset in terms of the way we think about Thai boxing. And I think I just need more experience putting that mindset into practice. Can you train your mind and then the body or yeah, you have so, to train yeah, your body? Yeah, so like mental training, so mental training is obviously like another part of uh, another part of Muay Thai training, you know? It's like when you're maybe training, maybe you're in the gym like four hours, six hours a day, whatever it is, however long it is, however many rounds you're doing a day. But then what else are you doing outside of the gym that's going to improve your training in the gym? So like visualization, meditating, all these things can help you help you feel like you've achieved the goal or help something feel more familiar before you've actually done it. You know, whether it's like landing a certain technique in a fight or whether it's like visualizing yourself with your hand raised, whatever it is, you know, I think when it gets to fight day, you can kind of, um, you kind of let go a little bit. And please welcome to the red corner from central London, Liam I mean, even now, the oh. counter elbows the and the knee. Yeah, fantastic. And he's balanced there as well. You see that again and again, where someone will grab his kick, they'll just jab their face off. His balance is superb. The reach on him is quite, it's, it's huge. Fine. Yeah, they uh, get involved in fights. You've got more experience with Brazilian fighters than I have, actually. Oh yeah, most definitely. But I'm... Nice left kick from Liam. His ring craft is super. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Movement around the ring. Oh, yeah. He just always seems to be out of range. But you can't train with Team Chu and not have good ring craft. No. They all have it. It's his control of the range as well. Yeah. Yeah, I think people find most impressive. A lot of people are talking about Liam Patel. Like his style or loathe the style, he's effective. All that matters is what the record says. I win, you lose. That's yeah, it. Exactly. That's all that counts. I mean, does he even need to sit down? No, he should be good to go. So I think, I think the message I'd like to share or what I'd like viewers to take away from this episode is just whatever goal you have, 
like regardless of what anyone else thinks, if you believe that deep down, like you can truly achieve it, forget what anyone else thinks and just go for it. You know what I mean? Make a plan, split the plan up into small steps and just take it one day at a time. Persevere when times get tough because the story ain't gonna be as good if it's just the easy ride to the top. You know what I mean? It's always gonna be, it's always gonna sound better when you go through some kind of hardships. And I think if you wanna go far, you're gonna go through some hardships anyway. You know, and I think just keep on persevering, just keep on improving. Try not to think about the bigger picture too much because when you focus on the bigger picture, it's like, it's like when you focus on taking, go, taking too many big steps, you're, you're forgetting about all the little steps in between that it's gonna take you to get there. Like, cause I never thought I'd be a fighter. Like if someone said to me when I was like 12 years old, this is what you're gonna be doing, I'd laugh in their face, you know? And then contrary to like, even contrary to like what I believed I could achieve, I've done something which so far, and I, even though I've got a long way to go, I've achieved something which I think I didn't even think I would be able to achieve. And at the end of those three quarterly rounds, we go to your judges' scorecards where we have a unanimous decision, all in favour of your winner. In the red corner, Leon! Don't duck.